from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I, I just can't get over what we talked about on the air about William getting rid of his big screen TV because his girlfriend asked him to. I mean, quite simply, if your girlfriend says, no, she didn't ask him to. She told him to get rid of it. And if your girlfriend tells you to get rid of a big screen TV, I say point blank, and I'm not kidding. I'm not being facetious. I'm not trying to get a big reaction here. I'm just telling you the truth. If she tells me get rid of my big screen TV, I'm getting rid of her. That's it. If I can't have my plasma screen, we shouldn't be living in the same house. Live in your own house. Have a cute little 10-inch TV there and plenty of lacy, frilly things that make you feel comfortable. Go right ahead. Fill the refrigerator with soy milk and uh, little pictures of kitty cats all over the wall. Fine. But we should not be living in the same place. I have... A beautiful living room. My house was built in 1925. The room has a 20-foot high ceiling. It's original, very large and beautiful fireplace. And now when I was redoing my house, one of the things I wanted to put in was my 61-inch plasma screen. And at the time I was doing this, somebody was living in my house... And she tried telling me we shouldn't have any TV in there at all. That's the formal living room. You shouldn't be putting a TV in there. And my attitude about it is, look, whose name is on the deed here? The plasma screen went in. By the way, as much as she huffed and puffed and stamped her little feet about it, who do you think was watching that TV all the time? All the time. Watching movies, watching uh, sitcoms, watching Grey's Anatomy. Who do you think was sitting there watching it? Oh, yeah. But first she had to make her little stink. I'm not imagining this. There's lots of women who are pissed off about guys getting their big screen TVs. I have to find out why. So whether you are a woman who hates big screen TVs, plasma screens, or the like, or whether you're a woman who doesn't care, doesn't mind, you think you're a cool chick, but you know other women who have a problem with them or have demanded that their husband or boyfriend get rid of them or not bring one into the house... I've got to find out the reason. Got to find out. So I'm going to talk only to women this hour at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's just that simple. I've got to find out why women object to these TVs. It is my belief, here's my theory, it's my belief that these TVs make men very, very happy. And women like to assert their dominance or their authority by taking away something that makes us so very, very happy. And they try to do that with other things we love, too. Smoking weed, beer, uh, watching sports on any size TV, our friends. This is just another way that women try to assert their dominance in the home. This has nothing to do with whether... 
TVs are ugly or whether TVs belong in a certain room. This is something much bigger. This is a power grab. And just like the woman who turns the vacuum cleaner on right at kickoff time at 1 o'clock on Sunday, the woman who tells you, oh, there's not going to be any big screens in this house, is saying something about much more than electronic equipment. So I need to find out why, in the words of women, why women hate these things, why women make an issue out of these things. Am I wrong about this? Am I misreading women? I just believe they're trying to, to take control of the home. And they're trying to take our balls away. And there are some people who just give their balls up. But what is the reason why women object to flat screen TVs? Big ones. What is the problem? Please call me and tell me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hey, Sassy, you're really cooking tonight. I'm cooking with gas, baby. <laughs> right on. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. And this hour, I'm talking only to women to find out why some women don't like big screen TVs. Victoria on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Sexy, how are you? Great. Good. Well, I personally don't have a problem with big screen TVs. And in fact, my boyfriend just bought a 70 inch. But I believe that most women have a problem with it because they are afraid that it's going to take the attention away from them. Yeah, but why would a why would a fifty inch screen or a thirty five inch screen take less attention? I don't understand. Well, just because I think that um, I mean I used to have a problem with them, but it's pretty easy to distract your man if you have a little TV. You know, you just go up to the TV with something sexy on and you can distract them. But with a big screen TV, it's going to be a little hard to distract. On top of that, why do women then demand that we go to movies? That's the biggest screen of all. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's just my opinion. They're just haters. They're just trying to take over, just like you said. Yeah. Well, no one does that at my house. <laughs> Tell you that's right why now. You're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Bye, baby. Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I personally don't have a problem with the big screens either, but I think um, in reference to the call that was on last hour with the guy on Craigslist, I think in a way she is trying to kind of see what, like, how much control she can have over the guy. You know what I mean? Like, she's trying to use the TV as, a, in a way, like a bargaining chip, you know, to see, you know, oh, if I can get him to get rid of this, well, then that means that I'm in control, and that means that I can then, you know, tell him to do what I want. In so situation. that justifies what I'm saying, that this is more than just a TV. Oh, of course. And the fact that, she's ye that she was yelling in the background... Um, just kind of shows how little respect she has for him. Because if she really had something worthwhile to say, then she should have gotten on the phone and she should have voiced her opinion rather than yelling in the background. Yeah, well, that's how I feel about it. And that's why I'm saying this is a sign of big problems to come. If exactly. he If he knuckles under to this, wait till he sees what she's going to demand next. And the fact that, like, she, that he moved into her apartment when he had the bigger apartment, it just kind of shows that... He obviously is afraid of losing her or something, so he's willing to do whatever he wants. And, and she's obviously a controlling bitch. Exactly. I, I think that she is very controlling, and I think this TV is kind of her way of trying to be like, well, look, you know, if, if you'll get rid of this, that obviously means that I have the control, and that means, you know, that, that'll make me happy. I live, in a, I live in a big, beautiful house in the Hollywood Hills. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine loving any woman enough to move out of my home and into her apartment. And I don't, I, don't, I don't see why he would have given up the big apartment. I don't see why. And I don't see why he'd be willing to give up the TV. I don't see why she should have a problem with it. I wouldn't have a problem with it. In fact, I would love to have, you know, a, an HD TV, a big plasma screen TV. You know, I can't afford one now, but in the future, I will have one. I'll have many of them. And I'll sit there and I'll watch my UFC, you know, like, you know, fight nights on them, and I I will love it, but I think it's completely ridiculous that she wants him to get rid of the TV and that he's willing to do it. It just it shows that he's a little spineless. Yep, I agree with that. Thank <laughs> you, Sarah. 
Thank you. Appreciate the call. Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Tom. What up? How's it going? Great. So, in my opinion, if I were him, I would definitely look at this as a huge warning sign because for a lot of men, I mean, their toys are... They're status symbols. They work very hard for these things. And usually they get involved with girls who appreciate those status symbols. And if she's asking him to start get, getting rid of these things, I mean, it's possible that this whole time she's been lying about who she really is. She could yeah. end up to be one of those granola types who, you know, think that TVs are infecting society. And, you or know, she's the same awful. type of woman who says, you got to get rid of that boat. You love that boat more than me. By the way, I had a woman who said that I love my house more than her. <laughs> and, and you know what the truth is? I do. Right. I think that it's it's a very sad day when a woman can't appreciate how hard her man works. And, you know, vice versa sometimes. If, if a woman really likes toys and she works her butt off and she gets, you know, toys to contribute to the home as well, he should appre appreciate those too. But for her to just you know, try and lay down the law and say you have to get rid of your stuff after you've worked so hard for it. That's crap. No doubt about it, Jennifer. Thank you for the call. Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. All right. Well, I think big screen TVs are great. I think the, the bigger the screen, the better the video game looks, the better a show looks. I mean, what's not to love about them? Yeah, but tell me you don't know women like this. You know, they're just not confident women. I mean, how low self-esteem can you have if you can't get your man's attention whenever you want it? I just don't understand why a woman thinks that on a 35-inch screen we're not paying attention, but on a 108-inch screen we are. You know, I don't know, because I know that even in a 20-inch screen TV, if my husband wants, he can completely tune me out anyhow. So the big, the bigger, the smaller the screen, the big screen, doesn't matter. If he wants to tune you out, he's going to tune you out. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. It's Krista on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Krista. Um, you know what? I think this is just a bunch of crap. I think women need attention. They crave attention. And when that TV's in the way of their attention, they want to get rid of it. Now, I, I've always said that women are attention whores. I, they are, you know, and I can, I can totally agree because my mom is one of them. My dad goes to work. He works all day long. He wants to come home and watch the football game, and she does exactly what you said she does. Turns the vacuum on. It's ridiculous, you know? If you want to relate to your man, sit down, watch the game with him, play some video games, you know? It's not it's not that hard. Get by the way, by time. the way, my own mom, and my mom died, by the way, about 10 years ago. My own mom was a vacuumer. She did the vacuum thing. <laughs> and my mom? dad wanted to sit down and watch the football game. It was every Sunday at 1 o'clock. And I'm telling you, that's when the vacuuming began. Not at 12 o'clock, not, not at 6 o'clock, always 1 o'clock on, on Sunday. It was an amazing study of human nature. <laughs> yep, and then, you know, I get my mother coming to me, your father. Your father is watching television again, I swear. I don't get to talk to him all day, and now he's watching television. It's just ridiculous. You know, I... I'm dating a guy right now who really likes to play video games. He's a big video game nerd, but, you know, I, I didn't really like video games. And I realized, hey, you know, this is something he likes to do. And so I sat down and gave it some time. And I love playing it now, so we could spend time together. So I think they should stop bitching and just relax. It's just a television. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's right. All right, dear. Thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Elena, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Been listening to you for a while. Friends of mine um, had me tune into you, and like everybody else, I agree on some stuff and some stuff I don't. But um, my boyfriend is like, I bought him the PSP, and he has a PS3. And I have no problem with them because I'm the one who, you know, bought it for him. But, you know, at least I know that he's home playing that instead of being in the bar, 
you know, looking for women or whatnot. But still, you know, he's got his thing and, you know, I do my thing. I'm online while he's playing video games. But, I mean, I know I, he has some coworkers, their wives are always complaining. Well, you're on the video game too much. You're on the Internet too much. I'm like, just let them do their thing, you know. Stop complaining. Stop whining. And, you know, it really doesn't bother me. I'm the one who buys him his video games. I'm the one who bought him his, his consoles and his PSP. All right, so what is it with the women who don't like this stuff, especially the TVs? I, You know, my boyfriend's looking into buying um, the big screen TV. And I'm just like, buy yourself something and whatever, you know? Like, buy me something too, but that's beside the point. But it, don't complain. Just make if you have their home on a Friday, Saturday night, just be thankful that they're home and they're not out there screwing around with other women. You know, why complain about it? Enjoy it. It's better than just, I don't understand why they complain. I don't understand it either, but they do, and I'm just trying to help the guys figure this out, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Anna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. Uh, well, I just have a comment for the guy that's giving, I mean, selling his TV. I don't think neither the woman or the men should tell each other what they need to keep or not. If they want to keep it, it's their problem. And I honestly don't blame her. I blame him. Well, my opinion is that he was stupid to move in with her. If he had a bigger place. Uh, Maybe she's supporting him. I don't know. I don't know, but... You know, if it were me, if I were dating somebody who lived in an apartment, I would say, you know what, that's great. You've got a nice apartment. That's fantastic. And I've got my house, and that's great. And in your place, you should do all the things you want to do, make it as girly and frilly and pink as you want to make it. And I'm going to make my house a place that guys like to hang out. I've got a kegerator. I've got seven plasma screens. You name it, I've got it here. I've got seven. I've got seven TiVos and DVRs. That's great. They should both respect their boundaries and not cross those. Right. Just live in your own place. Have sex once in a while. Go to the movies exactly. now and then. Exactly. That's all it should be. She could go screw around and he could go screw around, whatever. But they shouldn't. I don't blame her. I blame him because he's doing it. Yeah. Well, I'm just tired of women telling men what to do. I'm also tired of men who tolerate. It. Yeah, exactly. Like I say, if a woman the told woman me get rid of your it. TV, I'd get rid of my girlfriend. That's what I would do. Exactly, and vice versa for the woman. If they want to do something and the man doesn't allow it, get a new one. Right. I, I'm totally in favor. <laughs> All right, Tom. Thank you. Anna, thank you. Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, hi. I think it's a great topic, and I'm calling to give you my opinion. I have two reasons. One is that the shows that are on TV now are so interesting, and you get invested in them. So to have a TV that big, it's just begging you to watch the shows that are on TV. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's just that it's so stressful to try to make it home by 8 to catch your favorite show. And Well, he's not complaining. Business. By the way, no man I know is complaining about that. No, and I'm not either. I think that they're great. It's just that... There are so many stresses in life, and it just begs you to come and TiVo your show, and then you watch it, and then... Well, you're not required to watch any TV. If you're with somebody who likes to watch TV, let them watch TV, and you go off and do your own thing. Yeah, I get invested in these shows, though, and I don't know about you, but I get to where I have to leave the store at the right time to be able to catch it, and I don't know, guys maybe are different, but um, also jealousy... It's a major part. It's the jealousy. I dated a guy who had a cat that I was so jealous of, and I would bathe the cat because the cat hated it, and I would exert my power over it. Um, so it's kind of like the TV. You know, women are just jealous. They want all the attention, and it just reminds me of the cat situation, you know? <laughs> hey, what, what cat situation? Oh, just giving the... The, the cat a bath to torment the cat to try to show my Oh, talent, I see what you're you know? saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't like... Uh, you know what this reminds me of? You TV. know what this reminds me of? You know how many times... Do you know how many times I've had a woman move in with me? And I've got, I've got an answering machine. 
Mm-hmm. And the answering machine says just like this. It sounds, if you call my house, it's, hi, this is Tom. Leave me your name and phone number, and I'll call you back. That's what it says. It's the same message that's been on there for years. Every time a woman comes in, she says, first thing, I want my name on there. <laughs> I want you to put my name on the machine. So then yeah. it would have to be, hi, this is Tom. Fernanda and I are in home right now. It's like, mm-hmm. it's like what, what is that all about? It is all about somebody trying to assert control. Right. It's psychological. There's so many psychological reasons for it but i think the major one is jealousy and it's not just the big screen tvs i mean the cat might have been a bad example but it was just a way that women are able to put their control over something because women you know most relationships the man is the is the bigger person in strength and in brain power so it's just for ways you know we try anything we can whether it's what movie we're going to see or what show's going to be on or what pets you're going to have. I don't know. Do you think that that's a fair assessment? I, I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But it's sad, you know, it's sad to try to um, try to get a power play over like that. I mean, is there a better way besides, you know, tormenting a cat or fighting over when the big screen will be on and what shows are... Live in your own place. I advocate people not living together. I think it's a big mistake people make is moving in together. Yeah, even when I didn't, the guy was dating, we didn't live together. It was just a jealousy thing. I just was so, so jealous. It's like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I be the one who's getting T-vote now? Well, by the way, I was told by one woman, when I see you buy a big screen like that, I think to myself, that could have been a purse. Yeah. That could have been shoes. Right. <laughs> well, uh, it wasn't your money, dear. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a great topic. And do you ever tell people how you got on radio? I know it's just a quick answer. Thing. Well, the quick ever... answer, which I've given many times, is I got on radio because I won a contest at age 14. Oh, wow. I What's won that? an opportunity to be on the radio. I won an hour of airtime. Wow. Well, congratulations. Great show. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's look at all these calls coming in. Wow. Chandra on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, Tom? Great. Good. No, I just had a comment. You know, I I agree with having separate bank accounts and everything like that because I like to spend my money on shoes and purses and clothes, and he likes to spend his money on a TV. I think these women should just let it go and let it be. Have your separate money. Spend it on whatever you want. Have your separate apartments. Okay, I don't agree with everything you say. I mean, come on. What it is is, see, first of all, women don't want to pay rent, so they generally want to move into our place. Then once they get in, they want to tell us what to do with our own homes. No, we're kind of different, but we do split the money down the line, 50-50 everything. We don't abide by your rules, per se. And like I said, I agree with some things you say, and I don't agree with other things. But I can respect your opinion, and that's just how we are. And, well, you should. Thank you so much, Tom. You have a good night. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, I think this is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? You said... You said the issues with big screen TVs. What do girls have a problem with big screen TVs? But all of a sudden, it's all about guys watching TV. That's not the issue. That's not what you ask. But yet, you just get people on the phone that agree with you. I don't get it. What are you saying? I'm saying that the issue is not about guys watching TV. That's not what you asked. That you're getting girls saying, oh, well, my guy should watch TV if he wants to. I don't have an issue with a guy watching TV. But let's talk about the issue. If you If two people decide to live with each other... Then isn't it kind of about compromise? Um, first of all, I think if you have to compromise, you're living with the wrong person. Let's start you, with that. What? If you have Who to do you compromise, do you want to date a dog? I mean, are you kidding me? What, what, what do you think I'm? What do you think I'm a dog? Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't say you're a dog. I said, do you want to date a dog? I, I still don't get it. What are you saying? I'm saying that there's compromise in relationships. It's not all about You don't need you to, want. but the point is you don't need to live at the same address. We start with that. You don't. Oh, you no, don't. I agree with that. That's start with that. Secondly, together, secondly, uh, if you have to compromise, 
uh, if you constantly are having to find uh, middle ground on things, you probably pick the wrong person. You should pick somebody who's more like you. Do you think that's what makes a good relationship? Are you? Oh, I do. I definitely do. Oh, yes. Well, uh, oh yes. And by the way, it. no, no, darling. You found I, that person that darling, did- uh, you're not hearing me. I learned this by getting divorced four times. Is that if I had been with people who are more like me, I wouldn't be in that position. But is there somebody like you? I mean, uh, oh you yes, really find somebody yes, because I have dated because I've da- I have dated women who like they like the same things I like. They like sports. They like TV. They like. Uh, oh, and you got married, and that worked out perfectly. I never said I married a person like that. I said I have dated women like that, and but there are women like work. that. It Darling, I, again, I anymore. repeat, again, I didn't feel like getting married. I am now done with being married, okay? I'm done. Done, done, done. You don't have to be married to be in a relationship, do you? That's, uh, the point is, I don't live with anyone, and I'm done getting married. Done. Okay. But you are you brought up this conversation as two people living together. My so life has never been happier. My life has never been happier until I decided to stop compromising on things. I like that you're not even talking about what you brought up. I, you darling, I, darling, I've talked about it a lot, and I will continue talking about it. When a woman tells you get rid of your big screen TV, it's time to get rid of her. You know, obviously that works for you. I, well, that guess what? Yeah, it works for me. It would work for a lot more guys. I guess. I guess. I mean, what should a guy do when his woman starts stamping her feet and demanding that he get rid of the big screen TV? Just give in? Oh, no. I don't think a guy should date a girl that's going to stamp her feet and demand anything. Yeah, well, what I'm about what she... i what, what about when you spent your... You saved your money and then you spent it on what you wanted to get and she says, oh, pretty, please get rid of it. Should a guy get rid of it? Well, does he care about her? Not that much. It's not... Well, then you don't have a problem. But if you've got two people that are actually committed to each other and that's... No, you no, work. no, because there's no reason a man shouldn't have a big screen TV. Now, if you want to argue that a man shouldn't have a, 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 a third woman in the bed uh, or third person in the bed with them, or you want to argue that a man shouldn't have pictures of naked chicks in the house... We can talk about that. How this is, is that a television. This is a because te- it's a television for Christ's sake. But it's all about preferences, isn't it? A guy you don't. You don't have to watch. I'll tell you what. You don't have. One, you don't have to watch. You, you don't have to watch TV. my TV. You don't have to come in the room and I'm looking at it. You don't. I don't even. I didn't even hear what you said. I said you don't have to come in the room when I'm watching my TV. See, you're making the issue about TV again. That's not what you It is. Up. That is what I brought up. It's about no. having you a said, big screen TV. You said, hey, girls, who has a problem with big screen TVs? Why don't y'all call in? Right. It's not an issue about watching television. You haven't told me. You haven't answered that question, by the way. Why, what's the answer? Why is it that women object to big screen TVs? And the answer is it has nothing to do with big screen TVs. It has to do with control. It has to do with a woman thinking her vagina is so powerful she could just uh, stamp her little feet and start making demands, and the guy is just supposed to go along with it. When he does, he's pussy whipped, and then he needs to move to the next step of being pussy whipped where he'll be told all the other things he shouldn't be doing, couldn't be doing, can't be doing, won't be doing anymore. The friends he won't have, the pot he won't be smoking, the beer he won't be drinking. Then, then it just goes on from there. I'm amazed at the girls that you have found because for it's some not reason, just the girls I found. I have seen this. this. I have seen this in people I know. I have been doing talk radio for 28 years, and we have had these conversations. And I am telling you that this is what comes up time and time again. So, what happens in marriages that work? What's happening there? There are, first of all, almost half of them don't. Let's start with that. Okay, well, let's start with that. Did you know that the statistics actually are about 80% of marriages work? But a person No, no, they once, don't. They get divorced over and over and over again. Well, aren't you a good example, Tom? But they don't. Almost 50%, example? and again, it's in uh, Money Magazine this week, almost 50% of all marriages fail. 50. Yeah, do you look at how they gathered those statistics. That's the issue. It is, that that, well, there's, that's off. very cut and dried. A certain number of people get married, a certain number of people divorce, and then you divide. Okay, well, what they'll do is they'll get a number of people, they'll get a number of divorces and divide. You're correct. But what about those people? Let's think about the number of people that get divorced one time. You know, if somebody will get divorced once, they obviously don't have an issue with um, getting divorced. 
And so they'll do it again and again and again and again, and that skews the statistics. Again, I don't think there are that many people like me who've been divorced four times. You don't? You don't think there are that no. many people? Are you kidding me? I don't think there are that you many people like any, me who have been have divorced anybody. four times. You're in a bubble. In your I, big house. All right, fine. I'm living like in a bubble in my home. big house. And by the way, you're exactly the kind of woman I'm talking about. You are exactly her. And that's why this offends you so much. Tom Likes. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Party like a king with Tom and King's legend Luke Robitaille. Saturday, December 8th, in the exclusive Staples Center Grand Reserve Club. Go to blowmeuptom.com for details. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Why is it that women hate big screen TVs? They don't all hate big screen TVs. I'm talking about the ones who do. What's the problem? Megan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, uh, hi, Tom. How are you? Great. <laughs> Excellent. I think I should have been born, if I didn't like the D so much, I probably should have been a guy. Because... I'm listening to these women that are calling into you, and I can't believe it. I mean, the last girl was saying how you were getting off topic. By the end of your conversation, you were talking about divorce rates. I don't know where TVs and divorce rates connect. Divorce yeah, rates connect, but exactly. anyway. Um, well, I was actually in response to the big screen TV. Um, as you know, women they're totally different creatures than men. They want they need to be talked to and coddled and you know like just spoken to, and they need to hear words and the sound of their own voice. And guys, they just want to sit. Like they don't need any voices, any sounds, except for the TV. They just want to focus on the TV. So I mean, it's some of the best times I spent with my guy is in silence. Because that's all I need. You know, I don't need him to be asking me how my day went and talking me through my problems. That's the first thing. The second thing, women, believe it or not, I mean, you probably know this, are very territorial in the sense that a big, huge screen TV in the middle of their living room where their trinkets would necessarily be is probably, not, you know, it messes up the decor of the room or whatever. I mean, I personally think it's incredibly hot when I walk into a guy's room and I see a, either a huge plasma screen TV or a huge big screen TV. It's the most masculine thing ever, right? So what woman wouldn't want something masculine? I don't know. That's it. Well, I, I, I understand what you're saying, and I don't disagree with what you're saying, but I have said on this program many times, we walk into the room at the end of the day, and we've been working, and we've had a little something to eat, and 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 this is what our mind sounds like. Women don't understand this. This is what it sounds like. Well, you don't want to talk. Well, you don't want to talk, but you got to remember, there's something going on inside our heads. There's two words repeated over and over and over. Do you know What's what that? they are? Do you know what they are? No. <laughs> Listen. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> That's what's going in the average man's mind. Yeah, but they get very defensive in the sense that, well, here's this life. Because a lot of the TVs that are big screen have surround sound, and it's this huge sound. And it's like, well, he's listening to that, but he's not listening to me. And it's one of those things. So that's why I think it's big screen versus a regular TV. I mean, women in general don't like their guys to watch TV for some odd reason. But when it's a big screen, it's taking up a lot of space and a lot of sound. And so, well, yeah. I would say, uh, you know, then don't drag me to the movies. Uh, stop <laughs> begging me to go see every goddamn chick flick that comes out, yeah, okay? Yeah, but that's a date, and so therefore they're getting what they want. So there okay. we go. That's right. And it's, it's all about, but see, it's all about power. And that's what it boils down to. It's all about women getting what they want. They, they don't really care about any of this stuff. They don't really want any of this stuff or not want it. They just want to feel like they're in control. I totally agree. Well, I, can I say one more thing in response to another thing she said? Yes. She's like, relationships are all about compromise. And you said, well, yeah, but if you're having a compromise, I mean, the way I look at it, if you're compromising over an item, i.e. a TV, then that's a very fundamental 
I mean, it's a very fundamental thing. It's a stupid object. So if you're, I can understand compromising over maybe a personality difference or something, but over whether someone can keep or not keep a TV is asinine. Ooh, can I say that on, on the radio? Yes, asinine okay, is fine. fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so it's, it is, and that's just the way I see it. So, yeah, I mean, women are just very needy individuals, and um, so it's difficult for them to understand that someone else won't be. Good points, yeah. Megan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, the Tom. call. Here comes Renee on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Thank the Lord, Tom. How's it going? Great. I don't care. I guess I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> the deal, what is the deal tonight with women? Or has it just been a while since I've paid a since I've been in the car for a while? Watch you out oh, sorry, there on sorry, the sorry, air. Sorry. About I about being in control of a guy. Also. I feel like you guys, gen and I'm single, just for the record, hate chick flicks, love it when a guy loves football, because I don't really like it, so he can go do his deal. I'll do mine. That's kind of my way of thinking. Uh, but why in the world do guys ever have to put up with frilly bedrooms? Well, I may say that, uh, let's face it, you are calling from Texas. Well, don't where, Texas. I, and, but it's not just that, because <laughs> we're big fans of Texas here at the Tom Hikes Show. And the main reason is because men can be men in Texas. And Thank the, you. In the rest of the country, men <laughs> have to explain what a man is. Yeah, you do? Yeah, that, well, that's what. Well, put it this way: I live alone because I'm tired of explaining what I oh. want and what a man is like. But you know, when I'm in when I'm in Dallas and I'm sitting at Bob's Steakhouse, yeah, having one of those colon clogging cowboy uh -huh. rib roasts, yeah, and I'm sitting there drinking the the bourbon and I'm hanging out with the boys, I'm never happier. Yeah. Never happier. And when I talk to the boys who call in from Dallas, they're, they're not debating the, the big screen TV coming to the house. They're watching the Cowboys on the biggest screen they can afford. Yeah. And the women are there serving the beer. And that's the way it works. Love it. That, that is the way it works. I'm with you on that. I you just know, wanted to share that with you. I'm here in L.A. because this is where the entertainment industry is. But let me tell you, I, I come to Texas just to hang out and enjoy <laughs> being a man. We were Did there for guy time in? We were there at NASCAR, at, uh, at TMS, a few weeks ago. Right. I mean, that's what we do. That We were not on the radio from there. We were just there to oh. have fun. That is so sad that you have to come to Texas to be a man. That's what we have to do. That's I'm right. With you, honey. <laughs> you just come on anytime you want. Will you take care of me when I come to town, dear? Absolutely. Would you get me a beer? I will get you a beer and go do my own thing and uh, give you a little cooler so you can serve yourself while I'm not here. Oh, I love you to death, darling. All right. Love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Now, now that. That is a woman. And that's the kind of women we meet in Texas when we're there. Oh, do we love that? Hello. Wow. Heather, I've got a minute and I'm not kidding. Hello. Heather? All right, now I've got 45 seconds and here's Linda. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I love your show. My daughter, Alexis, and her boyfriend listen to your show, Quasi. And um, I think I think the whole TV issue is just an insecurity thing. I think women want to be in control, and if uh, anything pays attention, you know, if, if they're not getting them as much attention as they need, they feel they feel like they're less than a woman. I think that a lot of times these women don't know who they really are. Most women and, never get enough attention. Yeah. You can pay attention to them 24 hours a day, and then what they do, that they, they, they dress up like tarts and go out in public to see how much attention they can get from the other guys in town. Yeah, I mean, I, I can get as much attention by wearing a turtleneck and a, you know, a long skirt. It's just, it's not really showing everything. I think that leaving a little to the imagination is great, too. Although that's well, that's a whole other story for a whole other day, Linda. Thank you so much for the call. The Tom Likas Show.